Boss, I'm a professor in medical pharmacology and neurologist, and I'm the coordinator of the Fair Park 2 study. Parkinson's disease is the second most frequent neurodegenerative disease disorder worldwide. Parkinson's disease affects millions of people, about 1% over uh, 60 years old. It is estimated that this large and huge prevalence will at least double in 2030. The problem is that none of the currently available drugs can slow down the dramatic progression of the motor and non-motor handicap. So today, most patients with Parkinson's disease irremediably progress to a severe state of dependence. Most of the symptoms are related with the degeneration of a part of the brain called substantia nigra, which is overloaded by iron. The project will be a multicentric European randomized clinical trial which seeks to demonstrate that conservative iron chelation therapy with deferiprone the can reduce this excess of iron and slow down the progression of handicap in de novo Parkinson disease patients, while not alter the systemic metabolism of iron. Potential radiological and biological biomarker health economics and societal impacts will be assessed as well. 17 national and European international research and innovation activities will be linked with this project. The study result should prompt academic and industrial research on iron chelation as a disease-modifying treatment in neurodegenerative disease. This multicenter clinical study will be carried out by 15 partners from nine different countries. The United Kingdom, Portugal, Spain, Canada, Germany, the Netherlands, Czech Republic and Austria and involves a further 25 clinical investigation centers throughout Europe. France is leading this partnership with the University Hospital of Lille as sponsor of the study. The study will receive 6 million euros from the European Commission Horizon 2020 program for research and innovation over its five years duration. The University Hospital and the University of Lille have a demonstrating success in European call for projects in recognition of the highly experienced medical team at Lille and the quality of its research. Research activities have greatly increased over the last five years due to significant growth in collaboration between the research teams. This study is built on the basic research carried out in the context of the Fair Park One project, which was led by the Professor DeVos and research team U1171, University of Lille and INSERM, supervised by Professor Bordet, neurologist and professor in medical pharmacology and vice president of the Research Council of the University of Lille. The neurological department plays a pivotal role in Fair Park 2 project, notably thanks to the involvement of Dr. Moreau and Professor Defebvre, professor in neurology and head of the Reference Center for Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders. In the Fair Park 1 study, 40 patients with early Parkinson's disease were uh, double uh, blindly enrolled in a delayed start uh, paradigm. We demonstrated that the prototype drug, deferiprone, used at the uh, dose of 30 mg per kilogram per day, reduced motor handicap in PD patients, maybe due uh, to a symptomatic effect, and slowed the progression of the motor handicap in parallel with a reduced regional iron overload in the brain, as you can see in the MRI. The drug had a good safety profile, although weekly blood counts are required during the first six months to detect the possible and reversible neutropenia that can occur in two to three percent of the treated patients. The lack of systemic iron depletion confirm uh, the new concept of conservative iron chelation. Interestingly, another pilot study led by David Dexter in London, demonstrated the same results uh, in 17 PD patients. Thus, the two pilot studies have been used to calculate the required sample size to lead our project based upon the large randomized clinical trial 
to demonstrate this new therapeutic concept. Indeed, I had access to this study during two years and a half, so I have enough insight with the benefits brought by this treatment. In fact, what I mainly noticed are the improvements on the motor and no motor aspects. On the motor symptom, the slow walking, the claudication, in particular lateral rise on the right hand side, has highly decreased and even stopped at some point. The gesture is more precise for writing. What is also improved is all the part of hand shaking on the right hand side. On the no motor side, the intellectual and moral dimensions have been really improved. In fact, this disease is important, is severe, so the cure helped me to have a better relationship with the pathology. For many years, the excess oxidative stress related to mitochondriopathy has been considered as one of the main mechanisms involved in the cell deaths for neurogenic disease and in particular in, in Parkinson's disease. This oxidative stress is largely exacerbated by iron, notably through the Fenton reaction. As I told you, the substance and nigra of patient is overloaded with iron. So we reasoned that to develop a therapeutic approach based upon iron chelation targeting this regional iron overload in the brain will necessarily need to avoid systemic iron depletion via a redistribution of iron to endogenous acceptors in order to avoid harmful systemic iron loss. This is a new concept of conservative iron chelation that we had developed with uh, UF Kabanjik. And in the, uh, the Fair Park One study, this previous study, we demonstrated preclinically that the prototype drug, this iron chelator, induced a greater neuroprotection in cell models. We used the dopaminergic neurons and the, uh, as compared with other uh, iron chelator and through a powerful antioxidant effect. Also, deferiprone reduced regional iron overload and a motor handicap while increased the dopamine content in the brain of the uh, Parkinson's disease mice model.